Okay, hey guys, it's Grim's Creed here, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial video of how to get the Golden Spork on Mob of the Dead Zombies Black Ops 2. Now, I have gone uh, halfway through a game here, this is in theatre mode, so obviously I've already played this and I'm going to be narrating the way through it, um, bit by bit. Um, I will be cutting off bits of scenes, because obviously there's points where I'm doing point building or something else uh, within the game. This game in particular, um, I was generally going for high rounds on solo, um, but then a few friends came online and wanted to play zombies as well, so I think I ended up like just killing myself at like round 19 or whatever it was. Um, so this video I've taken bits out of it um, because obviously I got the Hell's Redeemer and I got the Golden Spork in order to help myself get to higher rounds or at least get to you know 33, 40 odd um, relatively easy. Um, it, it makes it easier to get through those earlier rounds a lot quicker, so you're not spending hours of time playing. So apologies, obviously I'm going to be cutting bits out, but obviously I am going to be giving you the key parts um, of of how to get the Golden Spork and making sure that you know what each step um, is. Now, um, before you even start uh, following any of the next steps, I'm going to show you your first step, basically. Uh, you have to fly to the bridge at least once, um, and you have to have the Hell's Redeemer. Uh, what I'll do is, is, if you're not sure how to get the Hell's Redeemer, uh, not the Hell's Redeemer, the Hell's Retriever. You don't have to have the Redeemer, sorry. Um, you have to get the Hell's Retriever. Um, and you have to have fly, flown to the, the Golden Gate Bridge um, at least once. Um, I can put a link in the description to two videos, both those videos, how to get the Hell's Retriever um, and how to and where to find the plane parts and obviously where to build it, etc, um, etc. Et so I'll put those in the description for you guys. Once you've done that, so obviously Hell's Retriever, then built the plane, flown to Golden Bridge and come back. Once you've done that, we're going to carry on from here. Now, what I'm currently doing here is I, I'll speed this up just a little bit. Uh, I'm heading towards the uh, warden's office. Now, here, if I play it nice and slowly, on the cells down towards the warden's office, on the right-hand side, there will be a cell with a poster in, just there. Throw your retriever at it, and it will take the poster away. You now need to go into afterlife, and just to the left of the afterlife kill switch, there should then be a tunnel revealed, and on the floor is a spoon. If you zap the spoon, as you just heard there, there will be a laugh and that will confirm to you that you've got the spoon. Uh, now that's the first part. The second part then, you need to head your way to the cafeteria. Now I'm not too sure if I'm going to have to cut this off here um, or not because as I say I can't remember the gameplay. It was a, it was a few days ago that I played this. Um, I've not been very well, I've actually got tonsillitis. Um, so I'm suffering a little bit and uh, obviously did this a, a couple of days ago. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to head to the cafeteria and at the back window and uh, the very back window at the back. There should be on the left hand side a table with a spoon on it. And as you just heard there, that's the confirmation to say that you have the second spoon and that will be Brutus turning around and saying, Prisoner 101A, your number is up. Uh, and you have to throw your Hell's Retriever at the table in order to get that. Um, I don't think you have to hit directly, I think you just have to generally throw it towards the table. Um, and obviously you'll know when you've actually got it, because as I say, Brutus will talk and he'll tell you that your number is up um, and that you, have the, uh, that you have the spoon. Now, uh, I believe um, at this point I'm actually trying to chase the five blue skulls as well, which is obviously to get the uh, hidden blunder gap, which is on the warden's desk. Um, I'll just quickly speed this up because I believe I do go around the map actually. Yes, I am, yeah. Looking for them. And I ended up failing. I missed the first one because I threw the fucking. I threw the Hell's Retriever at the wrong cell, but didn't realise until I gained the other four. <coughs> uh, Golden Sport, quite a handy thing. Uh, insta kill. Up to round 33. Don't let anyone tell you different. I know. I've used it myself. Uh, that was on cooperative play. Um, I don't think it makes a difference whether it's cooperative play or solo play. You know, the Golden Spork is just generally uh, insta kill until until 33, reg regardless solo or co op. Um, rumours, uh, I think I mentioned in a previous video, there is rumours about the Hell's Redeemer, which is obviously the blue, the blue Tomahawk. Um, I believe that there's been rumours. Ah! Shit, I just missed a step. I'll come back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Right, this is the second step. So, okay, just to recap quickly, because I kind of drifted off there a little second in the video. So, once you've got your Hell's Retriever, and you've built the plane, or whatever you want to call it, Icarus, and you've flown across the Golden Gate Bridge, and you've come back, you've obviously gone and removed the poster, you've gone behind the hidden tunnel, zapped the spoon in Afterlife, which you'll hear the zombie laugh, and tells you you've got it. Go to the caf cafeteria, and you've thrown your Hell's Retriever at the table on the left hand side where the second spoon is. And then once you've done that, you want to head up to the roof area, but you need to go down here into uh, the room where the bath is. 
which is just over here on the left hand side in the bathroom you want to go and press and hold X which I didn't realize and as you can see if I go back and pause there you go you can see as I've pressed X on it for some reason I've got two spoons is that is that a second spoon by the left of my gun there it is well, I was only meant to show one it must be a little uh, little glitchy or something I don't know but as I say press X and hold X on that bath uh, and a spoon should come up and stir the blath uh, blath yeah a blath that'll work a bath stir the bath the blood in the bath a couple of times and then it'll disappear okay um, then you need to do your um, you need to do your second second step which we'll go to now uh, in fact I had a lot of spoons in there I had two glitch spoons and a third spoon that stirred that was quite interesting so again we'll speed up a bit but um while we're waiting for me to find out which uh, skull I've missed, which I do realise is actually at the spawn, I, I click on that eventually. I'm just kind of trying to survive another round because the round ended. Uh, there we go, I've got the hidden blundergat now. Um, so, yeah. There is rumours going around, and I've heard apparently that the Hell's Redeemer uh, lasts until, is insta kill until round 99 or 100. I, I say I did mention it in a, in a previous video, and, it, and it's still to be tried and tested. Uh, I don't know about anyone else, I've not seen any video evidence at all. Uh, when I did hear the rumour, I heard it on uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 forums, on the zombies discussion part. Um, and I've, I've yet to see any video proof. I've scoured YouTube, I've searched, I've hunted, I've looked, and no one's posted at all. No one's posted any videos, no one's posted anything at all to, to show that this actually works. Um, if I'm honest, and I did see a video, depending on who it was exactly who posted the video, you know, if, the, if they're known for legit play as such, you know, someone like NGT, um, Ali A, um, uh, etc, etc, then I would be then be tempted to believe them, because, uh, so, you know, some of these are, are legit zombie players. Um, however, uh, a random person that I've never seen a video before or isn't that very, very popular as such in regards to posting zombie videos, then I'd be inclined to disbelieve them. Uh, just for the sheer fact that it's not hard, let's face it, to mod, hack or cheat on a game. So if I'm going to post this up, if I'm going to I will trial this. And it's and to be quite honest with a with a friend of mine, whoever decided, whenever he decides to actually come back on Xbox at some point, he's got a bit of busy life at the moment. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to chase those high rounds. If not, I've got a couple of other friends that are very, very good zombie players, and I will uh, be able to challenge them to that. Um, then yeah, we'll we'll go high rounds and we'll, and we'll prove. I'll put a video up to prove that if it does or it doesn't. So, but so yeah. Uh, apologies about this. I'm 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 on wanting to. I might cut scene it, pause it here, just to save a, a lengthy video, and we'll move forward to the next step. So I tell you, I will I, I will do that actually. I will fast forward it and and catch up then, and we'll uh, I'll show you the next step, guys. So I'm Grim Screed, and I'll be right. Okay, hey guys, and Grim's Creed, and we're back again, and uh, apologies that that was a bit loud at the beginning, so I'll bring my voice down just a little bit. Okay, we're back, we fast-forwarded, and uh, what you're going to need to do now is you're going to need to grab hold of yourself um, a Blundergat. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can rape the box and hopefully get one out of the box, um, or you can, once you've flown to the uh, bridge uh, at least once, um, you can actually then, uh, with the Hell's Retriever, hunt for the five blue skulls. Again, I'll put the link for the video in the description of showing you how to get the hidden blunder gap but once you have hold of a blunder gap you then basically need to wherever you've built your acid gap kit you need to find the acid gap parts um, I'll put a video up to show you the locations of where the parts can be um, once you've built it on one of your workbenches you need to put the blunder gap in there and then that will change that into the acid gap to do, do when it takes it there we go once you've done that then you need to acquire all the plane parts uh, once you've acquired all the plane parts I'm getting lost here because I'm pro. Um, you then need to head yourself up to the roof. I'll just speed this up a little. Um, and you need to construct the plane. Once you construct the plane, you then need to fly, fly to the Golden Gate Bridge. Once more, play. Don't don't pause. I don't know why I'm disappearing. Oh, I'm going for perks. That's why. Um, once you've flown over to the Golden Gate Bridge, you then need to pack a bunch of your blunder gap. trying to work my way back up to the... What am I doing? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I'm getting my Hell's Redeemer. As I said, I was doing this for uh, high rounds, so I was trying to get the Redeemer as well. 
Um, say, so working my way back up to the roof. So we need to then fly back to the uh, Golden Gate Bridge, which I'm currently in the process of doing right now. There we go. Du -du -du. Right, and we need to basically then slap the acid gat into the uh, pack a punch machine, just like so. Like Excuse me, I say full of cold, and you'll get the vitrolic withering or vitrolic withering, depends on how you pronounce your eyes, whether you're American or you're actually English, either or either. So, anyway, apologies about that coming up on my screen. Hopefully, he won't message me again, otherwise, it'll look very shabby in the video. So, yeah, you need that. Then, once you've done that, I'm going to play around that, also build up some points up on here quickly, so I'll speed this up for us, as we don't uh, we don't need that, and I'll just mute my telephone quickly, as my friend Carl has also decided to phone me in the middle of a video. Always convenient, isn't it, when you're trying to do some recording. So anyway, back on that. Now you want to survive, press play. You want to survive, or uh, an entire round-ish, maybe sometimes more, but basically you want to play in here using only only the packer punched acid gap, so the vitrolic withering. That is the only gun you want to use. Do not use any other gun, do not use your Tamahawk, or your your Hell's Redeemer Retriever, whichever one you've got. Insta kill is fine. Don't get nukes. You know, every drop is okay, double points insta kill, uh, max ammo carpenter if they actually give it on here. I don't think they do. I can't remember if I've seen one or not. Um, but either either which way, every one apart from a nuke. Um, because you need to kill the zombies with the vitrolic withering only. Um, eventually, you will hear at some point uh, a zombie laugh, like you did with the spoon and the skulls and uh, stuff like that. And that is what you're listening for. So basically, you're playing in here until you've done that. Uh, speed this up just a smidge. Um, and I will try and stay quiet for this next bit so that you obviously can hear the confirmations. You know what you're listening for. Well, I'm pretty sure you've already heard it. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the sayings on here are pretty, pretty cool. I will join in a minute, excellence. I believe it's not far into this now, actually. Play. Don't pause. Play. It's good to gather them up as well. You get more majority kills. I think, again, it's on a kill basis. I don't think it's round. It is a kill basis, but again, I don't know the numbers. So the best thing to do is uh, just keep going in here. I mean, with the with this gun you're not likely to uh, go down because obviously once it's shot all the zombies are kind of like attracted to it like the pack a punch crossbow so I believe it's the next shot I do actually or maybe the next one And there you go, as you just heard the zombie laugh. That is the final stage that you need to do in order to get the golden sport. So I'll just speed this up just a smidge while I pwn some of these zombies off. Get down to my last few. Numbers are going crazy. Just going to grab the fuel cancers. I actually die at this point. I hope I don't die before I get the golden spork. I don't really think. I know it was around 19 that I ended up killing myself. Because I, th I think in this game I'm currently in party chat talking to the guys and I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Be on in a sec. But yeah. Since why I keep stopping a couple of times. And okay, woo. Let's go back a smidge. There we go. And I'll press play. And um, basically, the bath that you stirred up into in the first time with the normal spoon, after you collect the first two spoons, head straight back to that bath again. Press and hold X. And out pops the golden spork. Yummy. And that, my friends, is the tutorial of how to get the golden spork. That is insta-kill from that point onwards. Uh, up to 33. It is two stabs from 34 to 40-ish. Um, so that should be kind of cool with you. If you've got something like a pistol, uh, like an executioner, um, or uh, you don't get the python in there. You can get the five sevens. I'll probably pack a punch it or the five seven. But then it should be a case of one shot stab, um, one shot stab, which makes it a lot quicker for quite a fair few rounds, um, and so on and so forth. Or even if any gun, really, just spray them a couple of times with a few bullets, and then obviously stab them. So and you can get yourself to some seriously, seriously good high rounds then with that. Um, once it hits the point with three stabs, 
not too sure. Haven't got to that 50, 60 stage yet myself, so haven't quite worked out a good strategy. Uh, but however, I will be putting up videos very, very soon, cooperative and solo, um, for strategies and guides of where to circle, perks, uh, or good perks to have, although there's only a selection of six on here, obviously. Um, six? One, two, three, five. There's four there. Sorry, five. Six? No, six with electric cherry. I was right. I was No electric cherry is the other one. Ignore me. I've lost track. Illness, lack of making videos, lack of playing zombies the last few days, so losing it. Five perks. But um, yeah, I will eventually do a, um, a tutorial and uh, some tips and guides and whatnot. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps. And uh, don't forget to hit the comment. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you want to, and uh, please feel free to comment.